Hello, my friends. Uh, Ira, the journal maker, is back. I'm gladly announcing that. Along with all my stitching projects, because stitching is kind of a very soulful process, I've been taking for year, for more than a year so far, um, healing, mending the world around me all the time. I'm doing that. I feel like, you know, one of these uh, witcher sisters who keeps mending, mending, mending the substance of the reality, stitching it together. Uh, yeah, away from this metaphor and back to journaling. So I've got a custom order. Actually, that's a f I, I consider that person my sweet friend, uh, a supporter, and I'm really grateful to her for being staying with me. Uh, she's alone who stayed with me through all this time and months and uh, this turmoil we've been through. And uh, she keeps inspiring me and supporting me with, uh, she has come through all these uh, issues with money transfer problems and so on. She keeps me up all the time and uh, with her um, requests uh, as well. And recently, uh, actually, I was uh, drawn back to my journaling. I uh, looked, watched uh, my older videos and I got inspired by my own things um, made two years ago and so on. And so I, uh, I'm restarting a new project now and that's a project of Clover. I'm not sure what, what kind of name it will be and uh, type of concept. I have a vague idea in my mind now what kind of concept it will be. But I very much hope I'll be able to introduce different stages of this project on YouTube. Because uh, if I only post the final result, it'll take uh, you even longer to wait for, for, for videos or updates. If I manage to make some short flip throughs or uh, let's say work in process videos I'll be happy to do that but the problem is that I'm full-time worker and so that's why uh, and I'm working here in the place where I'm creating so it means I have to clean my working space all the time again and again and uh, making the video setting is now very time taking but I'll do my best anyway I have to handle it because I think I need to come back to uh, sharing with you not only the results but the processes of the paperwork and things you actually paper out that you actually were drawn by so that's going to be a clover project so that's one of the pieces i would like to show you the material that i'm planned to use but i'm not sure whether i will use it or not anyway maybe you will have some ideas how to uh how to use some of the pieces. So first of all, I, uh, I spent a couple of hours, maybe four, preparing all these die cuts. Definitely, uh, they are too many, and many of them will just come to some other projects, but it's nice to have something prepared and ready, because I know some, uh, some plans I have for this journal. So these frames, one of them will be used for the shaker, seat shaker, I'm going to to incorporate in the in the journal then a lot of frames i die cut and embossed a lot of frames uh, also will be used there and uh, uh, some let's say silhouettes right or uh, shapes leftovers from dime cutting they go very well for uh, for the mats, photo mats, picture mats, and so on, and background as well. Uh, leftovers from the frame, but all of them are emb embossed and textured, so I think they will make perfect uh, corners and so on. Uh, tons of frames, wood imitation frames of uh, basic colors for this journal. Basic colors will, ch uh, sorry, uh, colors will be green and rose and pink sorry uh here is the tastiest part i believe uh some cards some embossing 
uh, on vellum and paper lace. I made it of uh, my used, my old daughter's uh, well, uh, sketches, you see. You, some of you might know that my daughter uh, studied at the art school and she has a lot of leftovers, a lot of sketches of unfinished works and so on. And the paper is pretty nice, so I use it and sturdy. A lot of watercolor papers and so on. So I, all of these are from her sketching. She uh, allowed me to do that, she permitted. And so I uh, die cut this. I don't, don't. Isn't it amazing? I cut this uh, paper lace, different types of textures, and lots of die cut herbs, also from her sketching as well. This time she tried uh, gel, pe gel, gel pen, right, and uh, and a lot of botanical sketching, and this one. Uh, it's a die cut, but it's against again some kind of watercolor picture, and it, it looks great to my mind. And there is some, uh, I'm not sure what to call it, velvet. We call it velvet, but some kind of velvet paper. Uh, it's probably from uh, 1990s because we no longer I can see such paper. In the shops and uh, this one was donated to me by my friend after she actually cleaned up her old library and uh, just got rid of all the waste she considered to be waste so that's one part and um, that's my former embroidery I used this bag actually it's a completely handmade bag you see it's even stitched uh, with my own hands and I used it for herbs, collecting herbs and grasses and different natural stuff. Some of you might know I am an avid herbalist and uh, I used to use these things for that. But uh, uh, now I'm using bigger bags and baskets and uh, this clover will go to the problem that's going to be the central piece of the cover not sure yet oh yes lots of fussy cut images printouts and fussy cut images some of them i as you see are colored with uh, with 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 fountain pens right and uh, uh, some of them i haven't these all will come as embellishments because it turned out I don't have any mm, manufactured stuff like uh, die cuts or cards uh, as parts or sets of uh, paper, scrapbooking paper kits, nothing like that. Yep, this is uh, the thing I'm gonna use for tiny. Uh, tiny pieces they will keep some decorative pieces inside this is actually the coin a page for coins and i uh, use some mixed media to decorate it and the only thing you need is to open it add some decoration inside some secret inside and seal it and fix it and that's it uh, some more details i'm gonna be probably using probably not some other die cut fussy cut uh, some stickers napkins oh what not right uh, skeleton leaf just just lots of stuff i collected from my stash as i have always felt pretty sorry for the stash when i not for not using it uh, when I was uh, keeping away from decent journal making. So lots of things here. Uh, this from different, different collections of different providers and different... Oh, it's just such a big thing. Such a big collection. I need to use it. Okay. And uh, yeah, these stickers go here. Uh, this is probably the CD, CD envelope. 
as well will be used for some natural thing. Um, <laughs> this is the seed. Uh, as far as I remember, seed shaker. As far as I remember, uh, this is marigold. Old seed collection, like a couple of years probably. I think I will add it to some mixed media element. And this one will go also as, uh, as a decoration, probably, again. Uh, some words and phrases. Mm. These I'm going to make into a book. Some handmade envelopes and some pre... Oh, another shaker. Some pre-made... Mm, uh, repurposed envelopes, seed envelopes, my letter envelopes won't show you the address, my uh, childhood friends, and uh, different present days envelopes, and things, uh, just a preparation for a deep plunge. Yeah, and some cards, different types of cards. So I'm going to plunge deep into the clover aesthetic. Uh, some, some more pieces and just some more thing I want to share is this time, uh, oh yeah, stamps, as, I, as you see, different rubber botanical stamps. They look horrible, right? I know. But just uh, even if they look better, they won't keep for long because some of this it's just more convenient to use them this way. Uh, they are not sticky anymore, even if I keep them pretty in a pretty decent condition. Uh, anyway, they're not they don't stick anymore, so I have to press them with something else, and so it makes no sense keeping such an amount in separate. Uh, uh, in separate folders. Moreover, I keep them not this way definitely, these are just prepared, but like uh, uh, the pile is this way because I just lack the storage space. My house, my sorry, house, my tiny apartment is really tiny, so when I, well, I mean it, so I have to keep all of these things very crammed, and this, all my stamps are kept in one box, and so it's, I would prefer to, to keep them in a bigger. Uh, decent storage, all separated and labeled, but that's not just... I don't have any even chance to have a big mm, working room or craft room, so I, I'm using any opportunity I have. And this, uh, this is the collection of washi tape, which I'm going to use in this journal as well for uh, different probably for decorations but I must say that I received them a couple of years ago probably in a happy mail uh, the prints and the designs are absolutely adorable but the sticky part is no longer sticky so I will fix them either with stitching or just normal glue ordinary glue so that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm not showing the collection of paper because this time I don't have any special decent collection. It's going to be random papers from different paper kits, scrapbooking paper kits and some uh, non-scrapbooking paper. So I'm not going to show it. It's mostly pink and green and probably you will see the details and how I work on compositions and things in my further videos. I hope I will be able to, uh, I will manage to show, to film the most important, the brightest, let's say, knots or uh, key points of this journal making process maybe the most interesting to my mind collages compositions and so on hope hope so uh, on that note thank you so much let me know uh, what you think about this what you think of the, about the topic and how the topic uh, is stuffed with the material and probably you could recommend something uh, 
for use as well in the comment section how you see it and the, yeah so that's it for today thank you so much hope to see you soon